Well, he looks like a normal kid carrying a backpack until he pulls out a gun and points it right at a girl's head. Also breaking news tonight, police say he's turned himself in. Good evening, I'm Carrie Barrett. And I'm Thomas Drayton. Good to have you with us. Even seasoned cops call this video disturbing. Fox 29's Chris O'Connell was there when this kid turned himself into the cops. And Chris has been following the breaking developments all day. He joins us from Olney. Chris. Yeah, Thomas, the boy appearing to be 10 to 12 years old, who was shown on video pointing a gun at a girl's head, has surrendered to police tonight here at Northwest Detectives, along with a second teenage suspect. This, after hours, that startling video was made public. Escorted by his parents, a preteen boy is brought into police for questioning shortly after this video was broadcast, a video that has shocked the Tioga neighborhood. The grade school kid wearing green sneakers and a backpack pulls out a handgun and points it directly at the head of a girl who puts her hands up like she's getting robbed. Look again. It happened as the boy was walking along the 3300 block of North 16th Street Monday night. We showed the video to Police Commissioner Charles Ramsey, who was seeing it for the first time. We don't know if the gun was real or not, but even if it wasn't, it's still disturbing that, you know, a youngster would have something like that and then use it in that manner. Back to the video. The boy quickly puts the gun in the bag of another teenager, and it didn't end there. The kid, working with two others described as 14 to 16 year old males, are seen kneeling down and pointing the gun at a group of other kids walking down the street. It was all captured on several video cameras outside a local grocery store. Oh, yeah, it's definitely getting worse. It's getting scary. In this picture, you see the boy is barely tall enough to reach the store counter. The ages of the suspects has neighbors shocked and disappointed. I've seen shootings around here. I've seen various things. It has to stop. Have you ever seen a 10 year old with a gun? No, I haven't. This is the first. After more than an hour with police, the youngest boy was released to the custody of his parents who sped away. No word on charges. Police are still looking for a third teenage suspect, and it is still not clear whether or not that was a real gun being used in that alleged assault. Either way, those teens could be facing some serious charges tonight. We're live at Northwest Detectives. Chris O'Connell, Fox 29 News.